dear students teachers scholars and friends from various parts of the country good morning and a warm welcome to all of you pg department of english baithaliza arts and science college narikuni calicut and pg department of english kemo arts and science college kodavalli calicut have been arranging series of invited talks and lecture series for motivating students of english language and literature from various parts of the country today we have with us an eminent personality selva km assistant professor pg department of english mahalara arts and science college mavur calicut Mrs Selva was a student of International Indian School Jidda and later she completed her graduation from University of Calicut PG MSc in Physics from Faru College Autonomous Calicut and again MA in English Language and Literature from Bharathiyar University Coimbatore she is a jrf holder and she has published a number of articles international and national research journals she is an eminent personality and a very famous english teacher so today she is presenting before us a topic in connection with the research methodology how to prepare the projects and dissertations in ug and pg classes we know that now in the end of the academic year all the students are very busy in connection with their preparation of the dissertation and project reports so this class will be very helpful for the students who are in busy with the preparation of their dissertation and project reports so let me welcome selva to read her paper thank you hi one and all hope you are all doing well First of all let me introduce myself and Selva K am working as assistant professor in PG department of English Mahalara Arts and Science College Mavur Before starting a session I would like to express my gratitude to Dr C K Ahmed sir for giving me an opportunity to talk to you all So here I'm going to speak on the topic how to write a project report for degree students especially for BA English students Okay So we know that degree final year students have to submit a project report of their research work carried out during the 5th and 6th semester of their graduation program. So through this talk my intention is to introduce the basic format of research activities and report writing for your graduation. Okay. So this is a special talk for the students who are going to complete their graduation. Okay. so i hope all the students might have chosen the topic by now anyway if not yet just select a topic from an area which you are interested to read on and it can be any study in the area of literature the first thing i would like to remind you is that be honest to yourself write your report or your project report your own okay never copy the words obtained from other sources okay So now let's get into our topic. Our topic is how to write project report. For Calicut University, there is a particular structure for the project report. It means it will contain a first page in which you have to write the heading or the topic of your project and below that you will have to write project report submitted to the University of Calicut. in partial fulfillment of the requirements for the award of degree of bachelor of arts in english language and literature 
so after this below that you have to write by your name the register number then in the department of english so then you have to give the emblem of your institution then below that you have to write the name of your institution place and um, the month and year okay so this is what the first page of your project report should have then the second page of your project report should be declaration declaration means you are declaring that you have not copied or taken any other research work uh, you have done your research work your own uh, so it should be written like i rather than your name do hereby declare that the project report entitled then give the title of your project report submitted to the university of calicut is a bona fide record of research work carried out by me and that no part of it has previously formed the basis for the award of any degree diploma fellowship or any other title or recognition so it should be a research work which is not done previously okay so after the declaration in the left side you have to write place and date in the right side you have to give your name your register number your department and department of english like that and then the name of your college place and pin code and you have to sign above your name okay the next page of the project report should be of certificate okay certificate means the certificate that the your project to guide is giving you so in the top of it in the left corner you have to write uh, the department and the name of the department then name of college and place okay then in the center write certificate and then in the certificate you have to write that this is to certify that this project report entitled and the mm, title of your project submitted by your name to the university of calicut in partial fulfillment for the degree of the bachelor of arts in english language and literature is a record of bona fide research carried out by uh, her or him under my supervision and guidance no part of this project has been submitted before the award of any diploma or any other similar title okay so this should be the content of the certificate and then below this content in the left side you have to write the name of your hod then head of the department your college name and all and in the right side you have to write the name of your guide and uh, his designation and uh, then the name of your college and you have to get the sign of the hod of your department and your project guide okay so certificate is something that your project guide or the head of your department have to give you okay whereas declaration is your declaration it is from your part okay so the next page of the project report is of acknowledgement okay so we said that this is the fourth page the so first page was of title the title page second one is the declaration the third one is certificate and the fourth one is acknowledgement okay so in this section you have to write about those who helped you out in uh, doing this research work and all you have to express your gratitude towards them so after writing about your pleasure and gratitude here uh, then in the left corner you have to write the place and date and the right side you have to write your name and your register number okay so the next page will be of contents okay so here you have to give the content and the page number okay like introduction chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 and conclusion and the last page will be of works cited so from introduction onwards you have to write the content and the page number okay then you can uh, write the introduction in next page then you can write about the basic details of your project and the conclusion of your project and all so your project may be of one two or three chapters so finally give a conclusion of your project okay or your research work and in the last page you can write the works cited in your project report 
uh, which all works you have mentioned in the project report you can give the details of those works in this works cited page okay so this is the structure of a project report of calicut university so which are they the first page will be of title the second page will be of declaration the third page will be of certificate and then fourth page is acknowledgement and then content and then the content of your project then conclusion and works cited okay so this is the structure of a degree project of calicut university degree project report okay now while writing your project report there are some things which you have to keep in your mind those are some rules for the project report for calicut university it is like this the project report should have around 25 to 30 pages in total uh, it should be your a4 size paper so it means that when typed in word it should be of 25 to 30 pages okay so uh, first of all when you write your project report start typing it in word in microsoft word so that you can uh, have a clear cut uh, idea of how many pages you are having so the you cannot increase your font or uh, font uh, type or font size and increase the number of pages the font you should use is times new roman and the letter size should be 12 okay the complete project report should be with letter size 12 okay but for headings it should be 16 a bit larger okay so the first one was it should have 25 30 pages the second one is that the font should be times new roman and the third one is that the font size should be 12 for uh, the project report and for headings it should be 16 and the next thing you have to take care is the line spacing should be 1.5 okay and you have to put page numbers uh, it should be given in the top center of your project report okay then the margin should be of 1.25 inch on all sides so equal margin okay then the references can be given as footnotes and a spiral binding is preferred by calicut university okay so these are the things you have to do when you type a project report or the things you have to take care of when you write down your project report if this is done you will get a fine project report okay there is one more thing you have to do while writing the project report that is uh, when you are citing works uh, like any books or journals or any magazines anything what you have to do is that you have to write it in mla style format mla means modern language associations style it is a kind of standard format and it has different editions like mla 8th edition mla 9th edition and all so here you can use mla 8th edition so according to that when you cite a work for example i'll take the example of a book a book named 15 dogs and apologue written by andrew alexis it is published by coach house books in 2015 so this is the work i have to cite so in reference or in the works cited page which you will give at last of your project report we have to write it in this format first the last name of the author then comma first name of the author then full stop then the title of the book then full stop then the name of the publisher then full stop then the year of publication so this is how you have to give it in reference it will be a long line okay whereas when you write in your project report inside the project report in your text you have to simply write only the author's second name and the page number that's all so here i have said that i have taken 15 docs and apollo written by andrew alexis so i just had to write only alexis and the page number for example alexis 58 like that okay so it's too simple so there is a particular format the standard style of uh, citing books or journals and uh, chapters of each box encyclopedia articles and all so you have to go through mla 8th edition and 
look how you, the work you have to cite should be written in the standard MLA format. Okay. So I hope you all are uh, in a busy schedule to write down your project report and submit it. So I hope this uh, talk would be helpful for each one of you. So I'm concluding my talk. Uh, before that, I have to say you that if you have done your project your own, you are the master of your project or you are the master of your research work. No one else can be the master of your research work. So you need not worry when you stand in front of a viva. When an examiner comes and asks you viva questions, you need not worry when it is done by yourself. Okay, because you have done the research work and no one else knows about it as you know so i again remind you that be honest to yourself and do your project your own and write down the project report your own then you'll be so confident to face the project viva okay so that's all wish you all good luck thank you for spending few minutes to hear my words thank you